Well, hello there again. For many of you that were at the meeting last night, you know that I shared a prophetic release for you. Again, if you're new this morning, I want to apologize for not being at this session. It's, it's very difficult for me not to keep commitments, but our um, staff wanted me to stay back and replenish my health. I've got a bit of an uh, attack going on my lungs right now, and uh, they just wanted me to be uh, very careful and, um, you know, just take rest so that I could get strength, and thank you so much for your grace. But I have a word this morning that I want to share with you, and it's out of 3 John, and it says in verse 2, Beloved, I pray that in every respect, in every respect you may prosper, not talking about just money or anything, it's about every respect, that you would prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. And the Lord's showing me that whatever you let in your mind, whatever you let in your imagination, whatever you let in, into your emotions, whatever you align your will with is going to determine the outcome of your life. And so God tells us here, if you are aligned with Him, if your soul prospers by having your mind thinking God thoughts, by having your emotions feeling God's feelings, by having your imagination aligned with God's vision, having your will aligned with God's purposes, then everything in your life will prosper. Everything in your life will, will be attracted to God in you. And yet so many Christians, they um, know the truth, but then they believe circumstances more. If the circumstances are contrary to the Word of God, they tend to believe that rather than the Word. And so uh, God wants your soul to prosper. Think on His goodness. Think on His Word. Think on His, his uh, brilliancy. You know, let your soul be filled with the goodness of God. Then everything around you will attract goodness, will attract mercy, attract love, attract kindness, attract favor. Um, that's how you attract the goodness of God, is by letting your soul prosper, thinking on pondering the goodness of God in your life. And in that, I wanted to share with you um, something that God's been showing me for this season. And it's about the area of financial prosperity and an increase in everything in your life that is good. And what he used as he was, um, you know, unpacking it for me was the story of the loaves and the fishes, the five loaves and the two fish that fed over 5,000. And in the beginning of that story, you'll see that Jesus, he asked his disciples to feed the, feed the mass because they were hungry. And they gave him the wrong answer. They said, well, we don't have what it takes. We don't have enough. We don't have enough to feed such a multitude. And he said, I don't want to hear from you what you don't have. I want you to go look for what you do have. And I just want to say right now is that sometimes we curse our provision just by saying, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it. But God says you do have it. You actually have it. Just go find what you do have. So they came back with five loaves and two fish, and those loaves were apparently just little little bread rolls sort of thing. And so it wasn't very much in the natural. And I'm sure they must have wondered in their mind, how can this feed such a huge m multitude? And uh, But Jesus took it, and he lifted it up into heaven. And that's what God wants you to do, is have a heavenly perspective, because you're going to come into increase in this season. Look up into heaven, get that heavenly perspective. And then after he blessed it, remember he didn't curse it. He didn't say, oh, this is too small amount. How will this ever feed the multitude? He blessed it. He looked to heavenward, saw what heaven could do and blessed it. Then he brought it into the earthly realm there after he blessed it and he broke it up and gave it to his disciples. I imagine there was 12 disciples because there was 12 baskets left over. But when you think about five loaves and two fish, that's not going to be very much broken up amongst 12. Maybe they just had a handful. But the miracle did not come in like big trucks of big trucks of fish and loaves didn't come in. No, it was as they were giving it out, it was replenished. And the Lord spoke to me, said, there's a replenishing anointing that I have for you, a replenishing anointing. And so he said, believe for replenishment. So as they gave out the food, the next person had enough, the next person had enough. It just kept replenishing along the line. But somewhere in the process, somewhere, it was not only replenished, but it was multiplied. It was increased. And after 5,000, they not only had fed that whole multitude until they were full, they also had 12 baskets left over, which was more than what they started with. And I, I prophesy over you that you're in a season of increase, that if you will, bless your provision, bless it. Look up to heaven, 
Look to a heavenly perspective. Bless your provision and then start giving it out. As you give it out, it'll be replenished. Now, I had this happen just this last week. I was I was writing all kinds of checks for different reasons. I was giving extra seed to sow and stuff like that. And so I was expecting my account to go down, of course. I mean, when you make a withdrawal, it goes down. But then it was like two nights later after I wrote all these checks, I went and checked my account. All the checks were cleared, but the account was like right up to the same level. It was the same level. And I thought, wow, this is a miracle. It was replenished. So sometimes it doesn't all just come in in this great big increase. It just comes in in a replenishment. And that's what I feel God's saying to you. Whatever you give out will be replenished, replenished, replenished. But the more you give out, eventually there's going to be a tipping point in that where you're going to go into an increase that is so big that not only is it, is it a replenishment, but at the end of being able to do so much with those funds, so much and feed so many people in so many nations, that there's going to be 12 baskets full left over. And we don't know, like, I'm sure that there wasn't even one basket full that they had to start with each. They just had a little handful each. But when they were finished, there was 12 baskets full left. So they had way more than what they started with. So I want to decree that miracle over you. And it's for your whole life, whatever you sow out into others. It could be joy or love or mercy, kindness, forgiveness, all those things. That as you sow it out, as you give it out, it'll be replenished in you and you'll be strengthened for it. So God bless you. Again, I want to thank you for your wonderful um, grace toward me as I get strengthened right now in the Lord, getting ready for women on the front lines that's coming up. And I believe that we have some uh, books and resource uh, there. So feel free to get more of my messages. Even though I can't be there in person, you can get it on the resource table. And uh, just have a wonderful day. I've been uh, praying and thinking about you. And I tell you, it's going to be an amazing weekend. I was actually really excited about going up to see you again. So I'm really sad that I can't be there. But again, thank you and have a great weekend.